I'm Miss Veena Shah from Hayat Girls Higher Secondary School, Hyderabad. My topic is Life History of Guru Nanak. Birth. Guru Nanak was born in 1469 AD at village Talwandi, Nankana Sahib, district Shekhupura, near Lahore. Guru Nanak was one of the most famous religious personality in South Asia. He was the follower of Sanatan Dharam Hindu. Family background. His father's name was Mehta Kaluchan Katri and mother's name was Mata Tripta. Guru Nanak's childhood. At the early age of five, he began to talk of divine things. Guru Nanak was not an ordinary child. Children of his age liked him very much and everyone wanted to play with him. Nanak's games were different from other children. He was a child of smiles and his eyes were silent and wise. Guru Nanak's education, learning Persian and Arabic. Guru Nanak was now over nine years old. Rai Bula, who loved him tenderly, advised Mehta Kalu to make arrangements for teaching Persian and Arabic to Guru Nanak. Mehta Kalu requested Mulla Kutputin to teach Persian and Arabic to Guru Nanak. He applied his mind to it seriously and surprised his teacher by his quick grasp over all the aspects of these languages. Pilgrimage. He made a pilgrimage to the holy places of India. He spent a lot of time in the company of Sufis and Sadhus, which polished his spiritual power and practices. Teachings. Teachings of Guru Nanak are collected in a book, Granth Sahib, which means the great book. This book is the fountainhead of religious, cultural, and social laws of Sikhs. It is highly revered and is kept in Gurdwaras, the Sikh temple. We find the affirmation of the oneness of God and of the day of judgment in his teachings. In his views, the world is only a mirage having no concrete reality. One should strive to achieve the nearness to God, this is only possible when loves him sincerely and fears him. It is God who creates and kills. He is the glorious. Everyone can reach him. Therefore, we should reach him with love and true devotion. God does not need any religious rituals. Guru Nanak was, has repeatedly emphasized that God is one and his name is truth. Religion. There is no doubt that Guru Nanak Dev Ji was born in a Hindu family, but he had no faith in its rituals. He wanted to free the people from the priestly class which was exploiting them. He remained busy throughout his life, preaching the high qualities of life to the masses. He was against bigotry. His messages were not only for the Hindus, but for all irrespective of one's caste, creed, and religion. That's why he traveled up to Middle East, Tibet, China, and Sri Lanka. He is the only saint who travelled this much for uplifting the masses 
from their slumber. Followers of Guru Nanak. The followers of Guru Nanak maintain their identity in many ways. They follow their own way of life is distinguished from Hindu society. They observe their traditions strictly. Their courtesy and their strict adherence to religion are the positive qualities that give them a respectable place in the history of South Asian civilization. Their religion emphasizes equality and fraternity. They pay more attention to morality. Even today, they consider number one, the long grown hair, number two, the comb, number three, the undergarments, Number four, the Sikh, Bengal, and Karpal, a dagger as their identity. Date of Guru Nanak. Date of death, September 22, 1539. Guru Nanak's amazing spiritual personality, teachings, and love for humanity had made him very popular both among the Hindu, Sikh, and Muslim communities. During his very lifetime, Kartarpur was the holy place where he resided during his last days. After traveling white with his mission, Hindu, Sikhs and Muslims all claimed him to be their own prophet and were highly possessive of the master. the dispute over the funeral. As the devotees became aware that their master was preparing to leave his mortal coil, there was a stiff tension between Hindus, Sikhs and Muslims on who will claim his body for the funeral rites. The Muslims wanted to bury the body as per their customs, the Hindus and Sikhs felt it was appropriate to cremate his holy body as per their traditions. To put an end to the arguments, they approached the master to settle the disputes. Guru Nanak talked to them in detail on this. The final moments. The master had said that upon his departure, the section of devotees whose flowers did not fade away shall have the rights and honor to dispose his mortal body as per their tradition. Guru Nanak enjoined the people to chant the prayers of Sohila and Japji Sahib. Following the prayer session, he asked the people to bring a sheet of clothes to cover his whole body and leave the place till the next morning. During his last breath, the Guru transferred his spiritual light to his successor, Guru Anjan Dev. The Mystic Experience The devotees from all the three communities returned the following morning that dawned on September 22, 1539 AD. When the sheet covering his body was removed, they were astonished to see that not a little trace of Guru Nanak's physical body ever remained there and the whole of his mortal coil had vanished. There were only those fresh flowers placed by all of them. Also, all the flowers placed by all the three communities remained fresher than before. The memorials. The Hindus, Sikhs and Muslims decided that they would build two separate memorials in place of the Divine Master. Thus, on the bank of the river Ravi in Kartarpur, 
which is today a part of modern day Pakistan, two shrines were built, one by the Hindus and Sikhs and the other by the Muslims over a period of time. These shrines were washed away twice by the flooding of the river and were rebuilt again and again. It is believed that Guru Nanak's spirit or chot is placed passed on successively to the Sikhs. Gurus and resides in the holy text Guru Granth Sahib. Thank you. Wish you good luck.